delivery dates of a fourth stimulus check. I have all the information and the details we want to focus on in this video. Let's get into it right away. But really fast before we do, if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and so I can keep you updated each and every day during this very busy time as information continues to change very, very fast. I'm doing all the research and I'm watching everything closely, which I break down into these short videos so that you can get the latest details hot off the wire each and every day as this information is being released, as it's being announced, and as it is being introduced or discussed. So again, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side, helping you out in any way that I possibly can navigate this very confusing and busy time. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into this right away. All right, so before we get into this, I just want to make it very clear so that all of us are on the same page, so that there's no miscommunication or confusion going forward. As of right now, a fourth stimulus check has not been approved by Congress quite yet. However, a lot of information has changed here over the last couple weeks, and Congress once again is opening the door and the ideas for direct payments, otherwise known as stimulus checks, for the American people, especially focused on the low income. So this is something that I want to talk through in this video simply because there are some dates that we're going to be backing up to here relatively soon, and I want to point this all out because this could determine potential delivery dates of a fourth stimulus check in the event Congress actually does approve one. Now, I do want to lay this out here really quickly as well. In my honest opinion, I do still think there will be some kind of payment going forward. Will it be $2,000? I don't really know. Will it be $1,400? I'm not sure. Will it be $100? Again, I'm not really sure. However, based on all the information that Congress has recently introduced, basically that window is very wide now. We could be looking at some kind of direct payment in the form of $200, maybe even up to $2,000. So the window has gotten very, very big here over the last couple of weeks. But the simple idea is the last time that Congress really talked with any like conviction over any type of stimulus check or direct payment was over a year ago, way back in March of last year, when they passed through the last stimulus package that contained that $1,400 stimulus check. So it's been a very long time. However, just as in the last couple of weeks here, they have once again opened the door and they are once again open to the idea of sending out another direct payment to the American people with all of these proposals that we've seen. It's a good thing. So I do want to talk through the details on this because I do think that there are some key dates coming up here that are going to play a very major role in either the, the, the delivery and or the approval of a fourth stimulus check. Again, if there happens to be one, which again, I still am leaning toward that there's probably going to be something. But again, we can't be sure what Congress is going to do. And honestly, at this point, who knows if Congress even knows what they're going to do going forward. But either way, we've got to watch all this stuff closely. All right. So with that being said, let's jump into this and talk about the potential dates in which I'm looking at, as well as what are going to play a major, major role in potential uh, approval and or delivery of any type of payments. All right. So... I want to throw this out there, the midterm elections. I know it's a long time from now still, but realistically, it's not that far away. It's coming fast. We're already several months here into 2022. The year is going fast and we know time goes quickly. And before we know it, that date is going to be upon us. But is that the key date that we need to watch? Well, yeah, we need to watch the midterm elections, which are going to be taking place in early November. However, leading up to that date is going to be much, much more important. Here's why. Congress recognizes this as well as we recognize this. Now, again, I don't want to speculate as far as what's going to happen on or for the midterm elections. I have no clue if there's going to be a transfer of power or if one party is going to take over or if one party is going to remain in power. Honestly, I have no idea and I'm not here to take sides. I'm not here to speculate. I'm here to rather give you the information, but we do know this much. Based on the reports and based on everything that we're seeing out there, as well as, as well as what Democrats understand right now, there may be a possibility that they might be losing possibly the House, 
or possibly the Senate, or possibly both in the midterm elections. That's always a possibility with any election. So again, I'm not here saying that it's going to take place, and I'm not saying that they're going to continue to maintain power. I don't know, but I'm simply saying Democrats are very aware that there is a possibility that they may be losing either one of these with the midterm elections. Therefore, here's a couple other things that we need to recognize as well. There's also a very high possibility that Congress, as in um, the Democrats, will be passing another reconciliation reconciliation bill sometime between now and the midterm elections. Why? Well, here's why. Because if they lose either the Senate or the House or either both of these, then guess what? The reconciliation um, opportunities are gone. It's it's a no longer a thing. Game over if they lose either one of the chambers or both of them. Reconciliation is no longer an option. Therefore, we do know a couple things. Congress wants to pass another reconciliation bill. This is the one that gives the Democrats the full opportunity to pass a bill with just a majority vote. That's it in the House and then the 50 votes in the Senate plus the one from the vice president, uh, which is the tiebreaker. Just like they did about, well, over a year ago now, back in March of 2020, sorry, 2021, when they passed the American Rescue Plan, which contained the $1,400 stimulus check. That was a reconciliation bill and they did it and uh, they passed through with the stimulus check. $1.9 trillion they passed through. So here's what we recognize. The president has the agenda, which was previously the Build Back Better agenda. Well, we know that that one is pretty much gone as of now, but we do know that they are working on different provisions out of that bill, and they're gonna package them all together, as many as they can, into another reconciliation bill, and we know that they wanna get this thing passed sometime before the midterm election. Now, here's what we understand as well. And again, I wanna throw this all out there. It's all coming full circle here in just a second. Now, here's what we understand as well. Democrats may be recognizing that, um, yeah, they could be losing either the House or the Senate, as we've already discussed. However, what could they possibly do to secure more votes going into the midterm election? And again, timing on this is going to be very, very important. If they do it too late, it's too late. If they do it too soon, well, it might be too soon and we might not remember when we get to the midterm elections. However, timing is going to be very, very important. When they continue to work their way through with the next reconciliation bill, they may just determine and try to figure out different ways in which they can get money, direct payments, stimulus checks, whatever you want to call it, into the reconciliation bill so that we can remember, you know, when we go to the polls in early November. However, as I said, if this is something that they pass a day before the election, it's going to be too late. If it's something that they pass six months before the election, again, it might be too soon. Therefore, the timing on this may be very, very important and critical when it comes to the midterm elections. They want to make sure that we remember who did it when it comes to the elections, right? But they also recognize at the same time, if nothing gets done, we're also going to remember that as well. And again, I just want to make it very clear. I am not taking sides in my videos. I'm simply telling you this is the reality and everybody in Congress knows it. Both sides know it. Everybody recognizes this going forward. And we've talked about this in several reports that we've discussed here on the channel in previous videos. Either way, when it comes to delivery, because I know that a lot of you here in the community are wondering, okay, if something happens to be done here, if something gets passed, when could we possibly see a delivery? Now, here's the deal. I want to throw this out there. It's going to be a major win for Democrats in the event that they pass a reconciliation bill and it contains a stimulus check. Now, here's the thing. They could pass it before the midterm elections and that could still be construed as a win for them, right? They could also pass it before and have delivery of checks again before the midterm elections and that would also be construed as a win for Democrats, right? Or they could possibly pass a bill before the midterm elections and possibly have delivery of checks after the midterm elections. And again, that would still be um, seen as a big win for Democrats because either way, the way that they'd be looking at this is, hey, check it out. We just got passed um, some stimulus checks or maybe going into the midterm elections, maybe they have the bill kind of on the docket ready to be passed, but yet it has not been passed yet, but yet it does contain a stimulus check. Would all of us be pretty happy and excited and would all of us vote maybe differently? Well, again, again, I'm not here to tell you what to do as far as voting, but I'm simply saying that would be the psychology behind this is, hey, if we have a bill that contains stimulus checks going forward into the midterm elections, whether it's passed or not, um, it's still going to be con considered a big win, right? So um, either way, 
Um, like I said a minute ago, I just want to make it very clear. A check has not been approved yet. However, I do still think there will be something coming. And again, that window has opened up quite a bit here. If you would have asked me, say, I don't know, two months ago, if there happens to be a fourth stimulus check, how much do you think it would be? My opinion back then would have been, again, this is about two months ago, I would have said anywhere between about $1,200 and $2,000. However, considering the most recent proposals and ideas that have been introduced, um, I'm kind of opening that window up a lot more. I'm going to say now anywhere between probably $200 and $2,000. Yeah, I know. $200 would be kind of an insult, but I guess it'd be better than nothing. Um, but at the end of the day, that's kind of where I'm sitting now because simply with these proposals that we've seen recently, the some of them are even suggesting between about $200. So um, just want to throw that out there for you as well. So here's the deal. When it comes to the delivery of any type of payment going forward, we kind of need to look at everything going on right now. I think a lot of this is going to hinge on the midterm elections. I think that's going to be a key date and time frame that we need to look at very closely. But again, as I mentioned a minute ago, the, the, the leading up to the midterm election is also going to be very, very important because the timing on it needs to be perfectly just so that we remember when we go out to vote that, oh yeah, this is what happened as of recently. So as far as delivery goes, again, that is all up in the air right now. First things before, first, before we can kind of figure out any type of delivery of payments is number one, we got to get Congress to actually approve something and or start talking a little bit more seriously about this. They've been talking a little bit about it, but we need to get them a little bit more serious about this uh, first off before we can talk about anything as far as, um, you know, identified dates in which uh, something could actually be delivered. But I could say, you know, pretty much any time between now and or right at, uh, right around the midterm election time. And again, we have to get something approved first. I just want to make that very, very clear here. But um, as I mentioned so many times now, the midterm elections is going to be a key, key date when any of this could be actually announced, approved, and or any type of delivery. So anyway, as we continue to move forward to that date, we're moving pretty fast here, you know, one day at a time. But honestly, the days are ticking away very, very quickly here. As we do continue to move faster and more um, closer to that date, of course, I'll continue to keep you updated. But again, I just want to lay this all out here for you, let you know what I'm seeing out there with everything going on. And who knows, maybe we move our way into the midterm elections and absolutely nothing gets done. That's a possibility too. Maybe between now and then they do absolutely nothing. Maybe that's a possibility. It's always a possibility, but we would hope that maybe between now and then they would actually get something done for the low income or at least the struggling Americans right now during this time. Either way, I'll continue watching it very closely. I'll continue to be here for you, breaking it all down to help you out in any way that I possibly can. So please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. I'll continue to be here in any way that I possibly can to help you out as well as break all this down, do all the research and deliver it to you in these short videos. So again, subscribe down below, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other 2,300 plus videos right here on the channel. Enjoy your day. Thanks so much. And I hope this helps you out in some degree. Either way, it's a busy time out there. And realistically, if the global situation continues to expand or kind of accelerate even faster, again, all of this timeline could be moved up even sooner. Again, it's all up to Congress now. It's all in their hands, and hopefully they do something right with it. Either way, I'm here for you. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later.